Hey rock stars, welcome back to Metaphysical Monday. I'm Susan at the Fossil Cartel. So I've been thinking lately about communication and a friend of mine is having a little trouble with her partner and she needed to talk to him and sometimes, especially for us women, it's so hard for us to express ourselves. Um, we've been taught to be nice, you know, to be quiet, whatever, culture, you know, all that culturization stuff. and. It's hard for us, and even myself, sometimes it's hard for me to really speak my truth. And so I'd like to focus on Stones for Communication today and hope this helps everyone that wants to communicate more clearly, effectively, and just in general verbalize their truth. So let's start with lapis. I've got this beautiful piece of lapis here. So the throat chakra, so for people that aren't familiar with the chakras, they're energy centers in our body and kind of right outside of our body. It goes up and down the spine as well as in front of our body. And each chakra represents different aspects of our lives. And the throat chakra is the fifth chakra. And um, it goes with the color blue. So generally, all the blue stones in general are good for communication. And I just want to remind everybody that all the stones are good for so many different things. Like even the blue stones, besides communication, they do all sorts of other stuff too. But I'm going to focus on just the ones for communication right now. And I'm also going to only focus on four of them, even though there's lots and lots more. So that's why I said this is part one, because I'll do more about the different stones as well besides these. But um, let's just start with these for now. Keep it simple. Lapis lazuli is this beautiful blue stone. It encourages taking charge of life. It reveals inner truth, encourages self-awareness, and allows self-expression without holding back or compromising. So we have these nice free forms. We have spheres, we have eggs. And if you'd like to purchase anything I'm holding up, all you, all you have to do is um, either comment or send us a DM and we will work with you. We can send uh, an invoice and that sort of thing. Um, we could do PayPal. You could call with a credit card over the phone. Here's a beautiful lapis bracelet. It's got a sterling silver clasp. Here's a faceted lapis bracelet. And here's a pair of faceted lapis earrings. Here's a gorgeous lapis pendant, sterling silver. And then the next one is sodalite. And here is a sodalite egg. Sodalite encourages rational thought, objectivity, truth, and intuitive perception, together with the verbalization of feelings. By the way, all this information is from the Crystal Bible by Judith Hall. Here's a sodalite tumbled bracelet. And here is a sodalite V. So these are little donut pendants you could hang on a cord and wear it around your neck. And then here's a soothing stone of lapis. This one has, I mean, sodalite. This one has a lot of quartz in it. And then the next one is blue appetite is blue appetite. It facilitates public speaking, enhances group communication, and it opens the throat chakra. This is a natural blue, beautiful color. We have these stand-ups. We have these palm stones. We have some jewelry. Here's some beautiful earrings. Here is a beautiful ring. And then I have this gorgeous microbead necklace. We do have microbeads in lapis and blue appetite as well as the bracelets too. And then the next one is blue calcite. Here's a big blue calcite egg. Blue calcite aids in clear communication, especially where there is dissent. So I would imagine that would be great for um, political people that have to 
be political and speak politically. <laughs> Should have some blue calcite with you. So we have these eggs. We have rough chunks. Here's a small one. I have even smaller from medicine pouches, like $2 size. And then we have even bigger for like decor. And then here's a small blue calcite egg. We also have spheres of blue calcite. Yeah. They usually don't make jewelry out of blue calcite because it's a, calcite's a soft stone, but you could always get a tumbled stone and put it in one of our spirals yeah. and wear it around your neck that way. Okay, so that's what I have today for the communication stones. And um, join me again next time. I will do part two of some more stones for communication. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your week. Cheers.